Welcome to State Television Company, Western Armenia, broadcast for today. Indigenous Parliament of Armenia is Western Armenia. Deputy High Commissioner for Human Rights, Nadia Nashif at the Human Rights Council. The speech of the Speaker of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia. The traditional clothes of Western Armenia. A list of monuments in Artsakh that need protection. Learning Kovanisian. Attic radio was closed in Turkey. Let's support the State Television of Western Armenia. President Armenia Gabrahamian's speech in United Nations. Thank you, Mr. President. As specified in Session 1, the forum that is in Indigenous People's Institution may take, if it wishes to take part in the Human Rights Council, is determined by the culture and the working of the Indigenous people in question. Council, Congress, Parliament, what is important is to take into account the existence of legislative executive body or dedicated political. He went on the basis of free, prior informed consent according to Article 5 and 6 of the Declaration. Official and legal representation of the indigenous people in question should declare its existence if this has not already been done. It should function according to legislative body, the form of which it takes and according to the mechanisms of professionals and it represents to the Council of the Human Rights the basis of constitutional document, the document of declaration of the indigenous people that includes a miscellaneous of legal historical documents. Thank you, Mr. President. Deputy High Commissioner for Human Rights, Nadia al Nashiv at the Human Rights Council. Your Excellency, Mr. Vice President, representatives of indigenous peoples, it is a privilege to be here today. Ten years ago, at the World Conference on the Indigenous People, world leaders reaffirmed their commitment to the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. This historic event led to significant outcome, including the expansion of the mandate of the expert mechanisms on the rights of the Indigenous people. It was a catalyst for enhancing Indigenous people's participation throughout the United Nations system and activities as member states made the commitment to consider ways and means of further enabling their effective participation and inclusion on issues and decisions affecting them. Just a few weeks for the first time participating took the floor in the regular session of the Human Rights Council, not as part of non-governmental organization, but simply as the representatives of their peoples. They drew operation to situation, the case in their countries and interactive dialogues with the expert mechanisms and special rapporteur on the rights of indigenous peoples. Dear viewers, the full speech you can see in our website. On 19 October, Armin Luhisa again, the Speaker of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia, had a speech. She presented the speech of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Markosyan, and the speech of President Armenia Kablahamian. Ms. President emphasized that indigenous peoples are closely connected to their lands and have the full right to protect their identity. She spoke about the Treaty of Severance and said that it is the key to peace. Ms. President valued the importance of having our own state, thanks to which we will confirm our right to self-determination. The speaker presented President Armenia Gabrahamian's speech at the United Nations, where Mr. President emphasized the Parliament of Western Armenia. The president spoke about indigenous peoples and nations, emphasizing that they are in the pillars of humanity and the years of ancient civilizations. In his speech, the president mentioned that the Armenians of Western Armenia as an indigenous nation have had a recognized state, Western Armenia. It has been recognized in 1920 by the Allied and Associated States. The president emphasized that indigenous peoples and nations, their parliaments and governments should integrate into the international community, support other peoples to connect with the motherland to rediscover their connection with humanity. The culture and historical wealth of Western Armenia is reflected in the tradition clothes of inhabitants of that region, which are presented in the works of Osman Hamdi Bey and Pascal Seba. These 19th century painters depicted the people of his room and wearing their traditional clothes, emphasizing the unique customs of the time. The labors of his room in the heart of Western Armenia wore simple but functional clothing, adapted to the harsh terrain and harsh working conditions. Armenian women of one wore bright and luxurious clothes. This image, which was created in 1873, is not only a work of art, but also an important historical document that preserves the memory of the indigenous people of Western Armenia and their lives. The discussion on Baku is destroying Artsakh historic cultural heritage is underway in the National Assembly, in which representatives of Artsakh Parliament and cultural representatives of the ambassadors of Oske, Minsk Group, member countries, and the representatives of the UN office in Armenia are participating. 
ASIC Radio, broadcasting from Constantinople, has stopped its activities by the decision of the Supreme Council of Radio and Television of Turkey. In particular, the radio license has been cancelled since October 16. Earlier, our took makes such a decision due to the expression genocide against Armenians by a guest on the radio. ASIC Radio condemned our took's decision. Now, the radio company has announced that it will take all legal measures to restore its operations. Western Armenian television, being faithful to its principles and viewers, continues its uninterrupted work with new approaches. The viewers, as you already know, our television does not engage in self-promotion. It mainly broadcasts the history of Western Armenia, the present and the future, with political and other contexts, as well as news that raises various issues. Western Armenian television recorded one of its most important achievements by launching the Western Armenia weekly newspaper, which is aimed at preserving and popularizing our history, culture and identity. We also present the political transition of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, the government, the National Assembly and other structures in a transparent and accessible manner. Dear compatriots, with your support, the possibilities of our television will be further expanded and strengthened. We are strong together. Dear viewers, this was all for today. Goodbye.